It's a great time to go golfing in Minnesota, but what if your swing's a little off? Maybe your score a little low? Finally, I have a valid excuse <laughs> for both of those things. Maybe you need to add a few simple stretches. Stretches to the pregame routine. Dr. Jamie Peters is a sports medicine physician with a line of health. He's here with some stretches that could, you, you're, you're promising, well, maybe not promising, but th this could improve your score. Well, I think it would. Yeah. I mean, basically, there's some stretches you can do right before playing. You can pretty much a 10 minute period of time, just get there a little bit early to the tee off and, and some major stretches that will help a lot with keeping your body flowing huh. through the ball and that helps you hit the ball more accurately. Why does stretching have that much of an effect? I mean, only 10 minutes to improve your game. Well, you know, basically we, we do a lot of sitting around in what we do. Most of us aren't doing a lot of stretching during the day. Things get tight and what we found is that people who are playing golf have a high tendency, even up to 50 to 65 percent of the t of over a period, over a lifetime of mm -hmm. playing golf, of getting injury. Then the most wow. common injury is the low back. Lower back. Yeah. Absolutely. And people just think it's, uh, maybe they don't even connect it to golf, but it, it could be part of the problem, right? It, it's just it, the way you swing is. the club? You know, it's, it's the way you swing the club, and it's our lifestyle. So, you know, yeah. over time, yeah. our thoracic spines aren't used a lot. That's up here. And then when you swing through the ball, it's a big twist all the way through. And what happens is, these are sticky joints back here. Yeah. They don't move well, and all that force goes into the low back. Okay. So if you can really do some uh, spine rotations beforehand, I can show you some. Yeah, let's, so let's do a couple. Okay, absolutely. Do we need to be holding a club to make it happen? Um, no, that's that's more of a uh, a, a hip flexor stretch. Oh, which, which okay. I'll show you. All right, so we're going to do. The, uh, yeah. So you know, in terms of spine stretch, and, and I am a, a certified uh, yoga teacher, so mm -hmm. some of these come out of yoga too. But you sort of start in your utkatasana chair position, and you can do a twist to the side. And what okay. you can see, the further you go, the better the twist. I'm not sure that my body does that exactly. Well, I think it would. I think you <laughs> should try it. In the suit, it might work. But you just, it's Definitely. like this. Down. Yeah, you sort of go like and this. Then. And and what you want to do is, when you're addressing the ball, you want your spine to be straight. So you're you're imitating and, and doing exactly what you've been doing I when like you're addressing the, the ball. I know. We're yeah. So let's, <laughs> you, let's do it. Let's do it together. Ready? Uh, okay. Okay. So you're going to inhale this. up, and then you're going to go like this okay. with a big mm -hmm. twist, there we go. looking back, then back up, and then a twist this way. All right. So that's that's one twist and one. You feel that it's about strengthening the core and it's about stretching yeah. out this back area. Yeah, okay. very important. All right. Hip flexors are another very important part. So do, don't just do the upper body. Don't just you know do the air driving swings. range. Air yeah. swings are good. Air swings. Driving range before is great, but try this. You want to do some lower body All right, stuff. Let's see it. Okay. So this is we have some clubs. Here great. You go. Thank you. And so basically what you can do, if you don't mind getting your knee on the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you demonstrate, Jason. Okay. The heels and dress won't can, work. <laughs> is you basically put your foot up here. You're going to be stretching this hip flexor. So using this club as a balance, you lean forward mm. like this. There you go. Okay. And you should feel that mm -hmm. stretch. You feel it right, right in there. Feel it there. Mm -hmm. So you feel it right behind here. But also you feel it right here. You're leaning yeah, into it. Feel that? Mm -hmm. That's the hip flexor. And so many people... That's where the injuries are. Flexors. Huh. Hamstrings, another area. So if your hamstrings are tight, you're much more prone to injury. And I see oh. in the office, I, I would say I see more people with tight hamstrings than people without huh. with loose hamstrings. Sure. So I sort of congratulate people when I find someone <laughs> right. with a hamstring that's flexible. Well, but, this is really interesting. Yeah. So people can do these. I think just thinking that, hey, you could do a stretch beforehand would be yeah. a nice move for people. Yeah. Really good. Absolutely. One more thing, too, which mm -hmm. is that warming up your whole body. So not oh, just, sure. you know, because if you go in cold, and this is the same with any sport. Any sport. If you go mm -hmm. in cold and then you start doing some static stretches, where like wall stretches and things, that actually has been shown in golf to decrease your effectiveness in swing. So okay. you want to warm up the body warm first. The body. So a good way to do that is do sort of, you know, exaggerated right. knee All right. to chest. All right, Get doctor, the gonna, just keep walking, doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Am I done? That's right, you're done. Exactly. <laughs> that was great. Thank you so much. Really okay. good. My uh, pleasure. Good All luck right. hitting it out there. Oh, thank you.